Johnny Stan. I've done it, I've actually got one. In um I've got it in Sydney's and it's uh and it's 30 plus. Yes. Oh definitely. Yeah, Paul's with me, uh Mr. Green Acre himself. PGTV. Um There's a video to come, John, and so this it, fish is it, amazing. It's, it's been in a couple of weeks, but I'll send you the photos anyway, John. In Sydney, it's, it's took me right up to the, well, to where? It took you two weeks. He talk, John, he talked. No, no, where's it took to take me up in the pool? It's taken you to the head of the pool, past the tree. Past the tree, right it's down the bottom the, of the pool, and the it took me right water, to the top. Right to the turbulent water at the top. And then you get just above where I came out Uh, Yes. I've, I have been targeting that fish for two weeks now. I knew it was there. It was coloured slightly, Joe. It's been in the system for two weeks, but I'll tell you one thing. It, it went over 30. When I weighed it, it the scales went beyond 30. So it's a, it's a 30 plus. He deserves it. Uh, on a banana fly, John. On, on a, a banana. On a banana fly. <laughs> <laughs> you got down deep, mate. Thanks, John. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you the pictures anyway. Yeah. With, yeah. Cheers, John. Yeah. Bye Cheers. now. Cheers, John. Bye. Yeah. He's tasty, isn't he? Yeah. John is one happy person. I mean, and rightly so. He's, you, Danny's been wanting a fish of that calibre for a long, long time. And if there's anyone in this state that deserves a fish of that calibre, Danny's your man. Right. Cup of tea? Still want me cup of tea, yeah. <laughs> cup of tea. I'll tell you one thing, that's not a full spay line, that's the one that Lyle sold us last week. So Danny's set up with a T14. He's fishing a full spay line and he shouldn't be putting the T14 on it, but you know what, it works. You can't knock it, mate. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh, Daddy. Look, and there's a new tree that's gone in to make this Sydney pool even better. The water accelerates around on the left. Oh, he's doing a snake roll. He's been spending too much time with Uncle Log. <laughs> Very nice, Danny. Oh, Danny boy, he's, this is his Not lap fine. of honour, mate. This is his lap of honour. <laughs> lap Not of honour. Oh, <laughs> oh, PGTV brings you all the action. And Danny's going to share his rig with us. Okay, Danny, what have you got? Nice and loud because the camera picks well, the, up. The, the bottom yeah. end, banana fly running. And yep. 30, 30 pound. Yep. Chest with a stock bead. Stock bead. The three. Tungsten beads. That's to get down. Yeah. Down to a, um, a swing tube. Swing Co tube. Covers the hook. Yep. So when it's hooked, the fly can move. Yep. No up, perfect. Up and down so the, the fish can't take it out with the perfect. And that's a then. size six loop double. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Tube double. Tube double. Well, you've gone up to size six because you were fishing eights earlier. Six. I told no. you, six is always going to take a fish. Eights, you lose a lot of fish. But that was a good move. Yeah. And talk they me do through work. Yeah, talk me through the rest of the rig. 30 pound chest, and it's only on the Just as well, just as well, yeah. Two foot. Just as well, you had 30 pound on there. You probably could have yeah. done with that, mate. Yeah, I did. Do you think so? Definitely. Your T14. T14. 10 foot. Ten Tungsten 14. Foot. That sinks eight or nine seconds a second. On a spay line. Are you stuck on, on a spay, a spay line? spay line. A Monteith spay, spay line, line that he got last yeah. year from Lars. He, all these guys in the state that have been buying them off him. And you're not supposed to throw a T14 with that, but you did it. <laughs> It works. And it works, so you can't knock it. You couldn't be bothered to change to a scad, could you? You thought you need to go down. I had I've got nothing else on me, so So he did he improvised and he got away with it. Got away with it. Well done, Danny. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna show you the Sydney pool. It's a lovely bit of water. As I say this year all the floods have brought a tree down and it's lodged itself on the gravel bar. See that there? It's flowed through here. All the water's now scouring up the back. Danny's starting up on the top end of Sydney's. We've had two fish, three fish now. Danny's fish of 30 and two other fish to 19. And look, there we go, he's just spade casting now with his setup. And that's the uh, 
the beautiful pool that's at this lovely 30 pound plus salmon so see that i'm sure that fish a couple of weeks ago it just covers the same surface yeah and nothing so i've gone past the spot i was really certain to see like yeah. that yeah two or three times and it's obviously it's disturbed the fish which i think you know what with well, the certain sea yeah what because i here? was doing no, yeah or further down on the line further down yeah because i was going like that where the certain sea that flashy water would come up out of it like that unbelievable the same fish that i saw a couple of weeks ago so i put the i, I took all the stuff in got on on the bank completely changed my rig to the banana fly covered it out nice and wide come round to it bang Water, not on those snags because that's a snaggy area, that tree. And you know, that tree, oh, yeah, that's you've kept well them well away from that. That's for when sure. I, when I but first they behave themselves, him. these fish, they do behave yeah. themselves. Yeah, but when I first hooked him, he went straight for the reeds. And yeah. I thought, please don't tell me that was a pike. Yeah, then when he was walking out, I knew straight away. Then I got head shaking, near, going yeah, on. a lot of head shaking, a lot of head shaking, and then he was just slowly moving up. I was keeping a strain on. He came up near the side, so I knew he, I had a salmon on could see a little bit of colour in it. I knew he'd, he was the original fish that was there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. But I couldn't quite see how big he was. I couldn't see the depth of him. Yeah. I could see the length, but not the depth. And uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Did he come out of the water at all? Uh, yeah, a couple of times in this pool. Jumped right out of the water? Yeah, come straight out. Yeah. Um, and when you saw his shine and his size, you knew it was big. You phoned me. Oh, I knew it was a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> you phoned me. I was at Ipswich. You phoned me. You thought I, I was can't behind believe I was fishing that behind you. you. Was at I but I tell you why. Because the wind was blowing and we couldn't get the lines out properly. So what happened was I took Mick up to Ipswich to show him some other water. We were just about to fish Ipswich down. We had the two cars parked up. I couldn't believe it. Then you gave me a call. I knew Larg was on the other bank, so he couldn't get to you. But luckily I was near the car, so I was able to get to you within five minutes, seven minutes. Well, but you needed seven minutes to play them out anyway. Well, this, yeah. I mean, that fish came to the net beautifully, so you played him like a trooper, mate. I mean, that was super oh, fishing. I was just yeah. playing that that hook would yeah. hold. I wish I recorded our conversation, because I did say to you, Danny, Sydney is oh, no. fish for you. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And I said there was my name on it, and uh, yeah. I saw my name on it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, 20 it had DT well written on it <laughs> You crafty cockney, you. You crafty cockney. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've just run 500 yards in one minute. Got a call from Danny. He's fishing Sydney's into a big salmon. I'm on my way. It's funny, we were fishing up together. Had a chat on uh, Park Pool. And I told Danny, I said, there's a fish with your name on it at Sydney's. And he's only going to give me a call. And you can see the bend now. There he is. Playing a lovely fish. Well done, Danny. It's his first of the season. And it's a lovely bit of water. It's got a new tree that's gone in. It's created a lovely lie. And there is Danny. Look at the bend in the rod. Wonderful. Oh. Looks like a good fish, Danny. 20 plus? Easy 20 plus. Sorry? Okay. I'll get the net. He's not ready yet, but. Ladies and gentlemen, just look at this, Danny. We had a chat at Parkpool. What did I say to you before you went? Listen, I caught that right down the bottom there, mate. He's walked you up here? Yep. What did I say to you before you came down here? There's a fish with your name on I it. Where, it where, there. where did I say? Sydney, yeah? I'll tell you the story in a minute once you've got it in Okay. There. I'll get the net. It looks like a... Oh, it's a big fish. He's actually... He's been in the system a while, but he's very big. Oh. 
This is a 30 pound fish. By the size of its tail, you've got a 30 pounder, Danny. No, 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 just get him in the net. Look at that, it's a big, big fish. No, just drop him back. Drop him back. Drop him back. Just drop him back. Just come in closer, a bit closer. It's a cockfish. Yep, bring him in, bring him in. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Walk back. Oh, he's in. It's a 27 pounder. 27, mate. Congratulations, old boy. We've got to find a shallow. Let's leave him in, leave him in. Let's walk, let's walk him up. There's a shallow up here, we can take him up there. What a fight, Danny. Well done, mate. Okay, let's walk him up. Oh. Oh look, in the scissors mate, that was not coming out. Mate, I've never had a fry like that. Not even in all. Hooks are out. It's getting back on the flow. Oh, it's come out of the water. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Change me fly, put it in front of it. Bang! Straight away. Which fly did it take? Have a guess. The banana. I'd love to have seen the whole battle. Tell me about the battle, tell me what was going on. Oh, tell me the full story. Not, mate. I'm not joking. I thought it was a pike. Even though I knew that there was a salmon in that light, I thought it was a pike because it went straight for the reef. Did you take it on the lower bit, not on the upper on bit? The, on the lower bit. I'm I surprised know exactly it wasn't where the lie is. Okay. I know, I've known for quite yeah. a while. Yeah. And, um, it's, it's come up a few times. So and it's a resident Paul fish. I might have yeah. hooked this fish um, last week. Okay. Was and there any other hook marks on it or not? I don't know, I haven't looked. No, okay. So I've hooked into it and it's just walked me all the way up here. I, honestly, these fish are so powerful. 20 minute battle? Least, yeah. I mean, I got here in seven minutes from where you called me, mate. I ran, I legged it, I, I, I parked the car where John normally parks the car to leg it up, mate. Well, I don't even know. You should be happy, Bunny. Paul Shuttler is going to be very happy. Danny um, Large is going to be also very happy for you, mate. You deserve this. Of all the fish, this is your fourth, fourth fish, fifth fish on, isn't it? Fifth, One out of five. Yeah. One out of five. It's not good, really. But, but, is it? but you've hit big fish before like this. Two years ago, you three, the last three years, you've lost fish of this calibre. But that Early banana, season, yeah. I'm going to tell you who's going to be happy. Simon Delaney's going to be so happy for you because he tied the banana, didn't he? Yeah. Well, so. he actually tied the one that I'd on before as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Enough, yeah. Give him a few minutes. It's a big battle. He needs at least 10 minutes to rest. And then we'll get some stunning pictures. Do you want me to give John a call or not? Have you got a good camera? Yeah. Let's take it on your, on your camera and then we'll send John the pictures. Uh, Right, just that's it. If you just hold his tail, stabilise him. That is one, one hell of a fish, mate. One hell of a fish. I knew it was big, but when you phoned me on the phone, you said, "Paul, this is big." You knew it was big, didn't you? Oh yeah. yeah. You were targeting a big fish. There's no doubt about that. This is over 25. I knew what it was as soon as it came up, and it just went flash. It was not happy. You know why? Yeah. You know why it's come up to the surface? Because I'd gone past it, and I was. You disturbed it? No. Yeah. Because I was uh, circle seeing. Yeah. And every time it splashed where it was. So it, it must have got really annoyed. Yeah. So then it came up and just went splash. And then I knew. You took it in service, did you? No, 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 no. Oh, it just before it? No, 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 no. So then I knew the fish was there. Yeah. So then I re-rigged. Um, then I changed my fly. Because I would obviously You did exactly what before. I did on Wednesday then with my fish. So yeah. I went back up. First cast, as soon as I put it in, came round. Bang! This is your PB on the apron. PB full stop, mate. Yeah. This is bigger than what you had on the, yeah. on, on, on the yeah. Norway, mate. Well, this is bigger than Norway. I don't know. I that promise yet. you, this is over 25. We'll weigh it. I'm guessing over 25, mate. I've, I've seen a lot of fish, and believe me. This is close to 25, I promise you. A lot of them you think that are 30, and they're only yeah, going to no, come no. out at 20. This is, this is 25, I promise you. Oh, that's great. I promise you, mate. This is 25. I'm expecting at least 25. Now, what, what we should do, there's two ways we can do this. I don't want to release him on this muddy bar because it'll go in his gills. You want to walk him up to the gravel, but the further up. I wanna, yeah, but, uh, and then you can get better pictures as well, because if you go in here, honestly, it'd be dirty, dirty, dirty. And unless you can actually, I mean, look where I am, see the dirt. I mean, there's no dirt going on him. It's only when you disturb it, so we've got to find a place. I'll hold the fish. You go and have a look at up there. Find a place for release. And we'll walk him up. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's what... Danny, it's top fishing, mate. Top fishing from you. A three-week pursuit, mate. A three-week pursuit. Oh, 
he's been in two weeks. Two weeks. That I know of. Okay. All right, there we go. Perfect spot. Now Look the key. The size of that. I promise you. Pictures first, then weigh. Picture first, and let's. Now, what we've got to do, come up here, come behind the fish. This is 25 plus, I promise you that. He's well recovered, so he will kick off. Have you got a measuring tape or not? No. Well, I can just push the, push the net out a bit. Push, no, 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 this fish, what we do is you hold the tails, you don't hold the fish. Look at the paddle on that. And you hold the net like that. Trust me, I know how to do this. No, he's not, not like that, he's not. I promise you, this is the way to do it. You hold the fish like that. He's going nowhere, stabilizing. Your hands have not gone on that fish. So that's how you handle him. Yeah. Now we're going to get some crackers here. I'll stand on the bank for this because you need to be on the bank. Your phone's there. All right. You ready? Oh. Is he up? Is he up? Oh, is he up? 30. 30 pounds. I'm not. That was 30, mate. You got a 30. That was 30. I was getting on the flow. 30 pounds. He went past the 30, mate, over 30. What I want you to do is just bring him onto this float. Yeah. Thank you.